Hello there, I'm Laura Kyle in Doha. These are some of the top stories we're following on Al Jazeera. Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez has won a fourth term in office. He beat Enrique Capriles to seal another six years. The closest Chavez has ever come to losing his grip on power. Chavez won nearly 7.5 million votes, taking 54% of the total. Capriles won just over 6 million, taking nearly 45% overall. Jennifer McCoy is the director of the Americas program at the Carter Center. This was uh, perhaps a larger mandate or a larger um, victory than some had predicted, given that the opposition candidates seemed to be rising in the polls in the last couple of weeks, seemed to have really a trend upward. So the 10-point the gap may surprise uh, some people. The former aide to President Bashar al-Assad has told Al Jazeera the Syrian government staged explosions in the capital. Abdullah al-Omar, who fled to Turkey, says Assad's regime asked his media team to fake facts and forge documents. British Nero has chosen the mayor who will guide the city as it prepares to host next, the next Football World Cup and 2016 Olympics. Sitting Mayor Eduardo Pace was re-elected with more than 60% of the vote. He faces the challenge of delivering major infrastructure projects ahead of the two sporting events. Egypt's president has just completed 100 days in office. Mohamed Morsi promised to tackle scores of problems within the first three months, from traffic congestion to waste management. But many say his response is already falling short. You can find the latest on all those stories and much more at aljazeera.com.